Have you ever heard this howling noise before? Most of the time, it's an issue with your front wheel bearings. If you ignore this and put off replacing the wheel bearing for too long, you could cause other components to fail. Let's check this out. When you have a wheel bearing noise, you can normally hear it when you're turning one direction or another. It either gets louder going to the right or left, and then gets quieter going the opposite direction. And that's because of the way the wheel bearing is built on the inside. There's two sets of ball bearings or even roller bearings. One of the harder things is determining which side the bad wheel bearing is on, whether it's on the left or the right side. What you can do is with the vehicle off the ground, just give the tire a shake from the top and bottom. And there's actually some play in this one. But not all the time having a howling noise do you even have any play in the wheel bearings. You can also spin the wheel, see if you hear any bearing type noise, which we do on this one. You can also grab the top of the spring while you're spinning it. And you can feel more vibrations on the side that the wheel bearing is actually bad. And in extreme cases, you're gonna notice a difference in temperature. The failed unit's gonna be hotter, so you can either touch the wheel or even using a infrared thermometer, and then you can determine which side it's coming from. A compromised wheel bearing can affect your brake pads, rotors, your brake calipers, even your CV axles. While all of these components are available at 1AAuto.com, we want you to catch it early. Don't wait until it's too late. Fix that wheel bearing before you have to replace any of those other components. Let's talk about how the failing wheel bearing can affect those other components. The hub is not supposed to have any play, and like we showed before, there's actual play there. In extreme, this is going back and forth like that. It should be solid and just be able to spin, and that's it. It's not supposed to have any of that movement. To better visualize this with the rotor on, if there was an extreme amount of play, the rotor would be moving back and forth like this, instead of just being solid and not moving. That's not good because of your brake pads. You need to go right up against the rotor. When you're stepping on the brake pedal, the pads are not gonna sit evenly. This could even give you an abnormal brake pedal feel. With the brake caliper bracket on, you could see where the rotor would be rubbing up against the bracket. You're gonna compromise the bracket and compromise the rotors. The extreme heat can also affect the caliper. It can melt some of the dust seals and eventually the caliper is gonna seize up. With the CV shaft, it needs to be in the location the hub actually holds it in place. And if the hub has movement, so does the CV joint. And it can actually grind on the knuckle and it's gonna wear down the joint itself. That's not good, that's been compromised, it's gonna have to be replaced. The other thing is the hub itself, when they're failing, they get extremely hot. They've burned up the grease in them. That heat can transfer to the boot and actually melt the boot. And that's not good, you're gonna have to replace that CV joint. Because we caught this early, we don't have to worry about any of those other components. So we're just gonna replace the wheel bearing. Let's get into it. Now with the bearing off, you can see where the axle would actually be grinding on the knuckle if that bearing was bad enough. As this would spin, it would be rubbing down there and on the top. Here we can take a good look at the old one and if we spin the bearing a little bit, you can actually feel the vibration. And there's a good amount of corrosion on the backside. That's not always the reason why the bearing failed, but it could have happened. Now here we have a press-in bearing. This is gonna be very similar to what this bolt-on bearing looks like. You have ball bearings, sometimes you do have roller bearings, and there's gonna be a race right there. It's gonna be two sets of those, one on this side and then one on the other side. This just happens to bolt on instead of a press-in. That's what that looks like. 
We know this one isn't good anymore. Let's go put a new one in. All right, that's all set. No more howling noise. Everything's nice and tight and we didn't ruin any other parts. But if you need any of those parts, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Make sure you watch all those how-to videos to help you with your installs. And if you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Most of the time, that's a... Try to guess thing, which side the... <laughs> so now we're gonna replace the wheel or even using Oops. And also, let's try it again. Extreme, extreme, extreme. The bald bearing. Do it again. I was on a roll too. <laughs>